Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos and I'm here in Constanta, Romania and uh, today's kind of a conflicting day for me. Um, the other day I was given a piece of pottery um, out of an archaeological dig um, dating back to, I think he said 594 BC. So we're probably talking 3,000 years old, but he gave me a piece of pottery um, and it was amazing. It warmed my heart. It warmed my heart not only that he'd give it to me, but uh, that, that I was excited to have it. And, uh, and, and there's, so, there's things to know about myself that are tough. Um, my excitement level, nine times out of ten, outrules my logic for right and wrong and um, police and law and rules and all those things. I just get excited. I really, truly am a 12-year-old kid, um, and you see that in my videos. My excitement level just goes through the roof. Um, let me show you the pottery again, just so you know. Um, and this is the pot. I put it in a little container so that it wouldn't get hurt and I wouldn't have to touch it or handle it. And so it really is gorgeous and it really is 3,000 years old. Um, but I'm thinking that's not the point. Um, the point is that I posted this on Facebook and immediately I had, you know, probably, you know, 20 or 30 responses. Some people said, uh, are you crazy? What are you doing? You know, that you can't... Uh, take a piece of artifact home, you know what I mean? And uh, and then I had other people saying, wow, that's really cool, Eric, neat that you get to take that home and, and have it on your shelf that's 3,000 years old. You get to touch a piece of Greek history anytime you want. Um, and then another friend sent me uh, a list of <laughs> the rules of exporting artifacts and and it plainly states in there you you know you can't do it you have to apply you have to fill out paperwork you have to do all these things and so <clears throat> the bottom line is <clears throat> that uh, me taking this piece of pottery home is probably not okay you know and I bet I could I, whether I put it in a piece of tin foil and wrap it and you know send it and hope it doesn't go through customs and they inspect it or I carry it in my bag and they don't open my bag but I, I don't know that that's the point the point is that this is an archaeological dig and that they are uh, you know excavating a, a spot that's gonna actually be a museum here before too long and so after contemplating it and input from everybody else, I have to outrule my excitement level, <laughs> which was tough, and realize that uh, the smart thing is to give it back. And that's exactly what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go give it back to the guy that I found it from or to the site or whatever, or whoever's there um, and tell him I can't take it. And you know, it warms my heart. I, I think about well, what happens if they dig up the rest of this pot? Um, and they're just missing this one piece. It would break my heart. But but also, it warms my heart thinking that if I come back in five years and I go to this exact same site and that pot is there and my piece is there, I know that I contributed in, in the stupidest of minorest of ways. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm, I'm walking down, I'm in the main square right now. And so, um, and it's an early Monday morning and there's not many people out yet, but, uh, but I'm taking it back. And, uh, and I'll tell the guy that, uh, that I appreciate him giving it to me, but there's just no way um, to do it. I also had another subscriber write me and tell me that, uh, that they read a story about um, somebody taking an artifact or a piece of an artifact or something from another country it wasn't romania but uh that uh, they went to jail um and you know <laughs> i already have a, a proclivity to uh, <laughs> having problems with the law and why would i want to exacerbate that um and and end up in some romanian prison for trying to steal artifacts and so anyway the bottom line is that uh, <laughs> um logic um overrules excitement and uh and so i'm just heading back there right now to uh, take it back and uh <sighs> you know and it's hard i you know you you wrestle with yourself but you know, it, it doesn't matter. Right and wrong, there's always right. You know what I mean? And you can always justify the wrongness. But we see it in politics and rich people. 
um, and how they make their choices and justify their wrongdoings, um, whether they're in Congress or whether there's a Supreme Court or even presidents. Um, but you know what? It starts at the lowest level, the little people in this world that, um, that make the right choices. <clears throat> and so I hope I get to make the, the right choice here and um, can uh, give this back. And I hope that it's of use. You know, I hope that in my heart of hearts that they're not just going to throw it in a trash can, um, you know, or toss it to the wayside. Um, because that, you know, but, but that's not my thing. My, my choice really is, is that um, I, uh, I did the right thing. I gave it back and, uh, and they can do with it what they want. And there's the guy right there that gave it to me. So uh, I'm going to give it right to him. And the site is amazing. And can you imagine this being a museum? It really would be just outstanding, you know. And the dig here is just outstanding. And uh, and so it's uh, it's amazing. And they they keep digging and they keep digging up and unearthing things. Look at the the dig here. Um, this is where it came from. The guy pulled it out of that little hole over there in that wall. Um, so it's pretty. Pretty amazing stuff. Um, so anyway, so let me give this back to him as soon as he gets off that phone. I'll be back, everybody. Bye. Hello. You f I just wanted to bring this back to you. I appreciate it so much, and it uh, it's so exciting to me. But I was reading the laws, and to try to export this, they could uh, throw me in it's, jail. It's, it's, it's not the uh... A, it's not a whole downtown. pot, right? Exactly. It's a, it's a rest. But I, I, I just wanted to tell you that I appreciate it, and you really no, made no. my day. It really was exciting, and I loved it, and it was wonderful, and no you problem. are great. And but I, I, you know, I was hoping maybe you'll find the rest of the if, pot. It, it, and uh, no, 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 no. But we anyway, didn't find. yeah, we finished the the, the dig. But uh, but thank you, thank no, you, no. thank you. Um, no, you no, you're no. wonderful. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark and uh, I just wanted to follow up on that video of giving back that piece of pottery. I, I feel bad. I think I hurt his feelings. I think I insulted him. I think, I think it's tough because I think he sees it as a, he gave us, me something and here I am returning it. Um, but I, I hope he understands that, uh, that I didn't do it to insult him, that I just did it to, you know, protect myself from customs and transportation and those types of things. And that, it, uh, um, it's a tough one. Uh, you know, would it have been, been better just to throw it away? No, that's not good. Um, anyway, that's it. I just wanted to follow up on my video. Bye, everybody.